Hey folks, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to show you how can you use your own Android device on your laptop as a controller. So without wasting time, let's get started. So I already created a video a while back around a year ago where I showed you how can you use Droid Joy to use your own Android device as a controller on your laptop. But that video was not quite good like the audio quality was bad and the whole experience was not so good and many people have questions about regarding how to use it. So I thought why not make an updated video on how to use it with a better quality and better sound. So without wasting time, let's get into it and let's see all the process. So what you need to do is go ahead and go to the Droid Joy website. I'll be linking the website down below so you can go there. Now go ahead, click on that website and you can see all the features here but we'll skip to that because i'll be explaining it to you so now you need to download it so i have already downloaded it you can see the versions like we have new server for windows 7 8 8.1 and 10 so it will work for all of that if you have windows xp or vista you need to download this since i have windows 10 i'll click ahead go ahead and click on 64 bit so it should start downloading i already have downloaded it and installed it so i don't need to do that again now you need to head to your mobile device and download an app from the play store i'll show it to you now so go ahead and now search for droid joy so here it is droid joy i have already installed it so just go ahead and click on open now we'll search for droid joy on our laptop so here it is droid joy we we'll enable the access all right so here it is now here is the gamepad one so as you can see free gamepad so we have currently one free gamepad available if you want more than one what you need to do is click on gamepad 2 click activate and click on save now this will activate two gamepads for us but since this is a tutorial we only need one gamepad so we'll deactivate it and save it again at most you can do four gamepads so if you are planning to play fifa with your friends four friends then you can do that easily enough talks let's see how to connect it now click on the plus icon here and click on find server it will start finding the server as you can see it has found my ip address and the name of the server if you want to change it you can change it i will go ahead and keep it server by default now one important thing to note that is you have to be connected to the same wi-fi network if you want to use this or you can use bluetooth connection via bluetooth is quite difficult and i was not able to connect it but on the same wi-fi it's easy you can do it easily so i am on same wi-fi i have found the server and i'm going to connect it so as you can see it's connected and as you can see free game pads are zero because my one gamepad is connected now you have to go ahead and click on gamepad here and there will be an entire list of the gamepads for example as you can see i have test which is standard then this is a shooter like if you want to play temple run then you can go ahead and click on it and because this only requires two buttons you can play that but if you want to play a normal game or need an android normal gamepad controller what you can do is go ahead and click on gamepad and mm -hmm. click on template standard now this is the same uh, template standard one important thing to note that is there is no right triggers i'm going to show you how you can change or remap the right triggers to the right button so there's a roundabout it to that we'll, i'll explain it to you later in the video so stay till the end so as you can see we have got, got all the standard controller left button right button we got the left d-pad here we got the normal buttons here we got start we got recent we got the normal d-pad left and this is the right d-pad and these are the standard buttons and now we're going to check if this but uh, game card controller works or not so let's go ahead and open our browser click on start as you can see i got it the gamepad tester has detected it and if i click on any button now it shows the time map which is says that it's the changing and currently active so yeah you can play it on go ahead any game with that suppose the control i played it on fifa i played it on asphalt so it worked there just perfectly fine so i guess there should be no issues while connecting your gamepad as an android to play games on a laptop so it's very easy go ahead and then do it Apart from that, I also promised you if you want to use your right button as a right trigger to play FIFA, then there's a roundabout to it. So as you can see, we got 5, 11 and 6 and 12. So this 6 is the right button and 12 is the right trigger. So what you need to do is you need to change it to 12 and change this to 6. So now on the controller, you have changed your right button to be your right trigger but in reality it's not so like if you press this right button it will act as a right trigger so even though it shows right button here it will act as a right trigger so there's a roundabout to it but i guess it's kind of a jugaad we call it in hindi it's jugaad if you want to do it that and if you are willing to play then you can add a customized right trigger here so i will show it that to you as well so 
if you need to customize it you can just go ahead and click on customize here and then you can click on shoulder buttons and then you can add them like or apart from that if you want to go to gamepad and then you can change you want to do the changes of settings as well you can do that as that as well and i guess that's it for this video guys hope you like it don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and thanks for watching